Now imagine that instead of getting an internet connection via Wi-Fi, you could get it beamed down to you from the lights in your office. Well, that's the technology we're about to demonstrate here. Professor Harold Haas, explain what we've got here and what it's doing. So, so what we have here is an off-the-shelf standard light fixture. It uh, provides illumination as we expect. But at the same time, we have a unit here that's connected to the internet via this cable and via these two cable that unit connects that light bulb. So the internet is basically routed through these wires to the light here and the light uh, is changed, the intensity of the light is changed very rapidly uh, and these rapid changes um, convey the video stream or any kind of uh, internet information to the other unit at that end here. Uh, sophisticated enough that uh, the data stream coming over here is, is enough to make a video uh, stream on, on this laptop. So how do I know that this computer really is getting its internet connection via, via that light rather than from the Wi-Fi here? Um, you can uh, easily test it by blocking the receiver. Let's put our hand there. And it's the gone off. Yes, I can see the red light flashing. So that, that means the link is broken. But uh, if I just do this, uh, block it, we'll see that the, the lights are still green, it's still active. So it's, it's a non-line-of-sight technology. It's, it works even off reflected uh, objects. Well, it looks clever, but what advantages, though, does this have over Wi-Fi, which we've all got used to? So Wi-Fi has been so successful, we have deployed so many Wi-Fi access points that they, they interfere with each other now and slow down the actual data rates. Uh, and with that, we have another opportunity, another pipe, if you want, another, another data pipe to provide additional capacity. And you're also claiming that it's more secure. Just show us why. If I block it entirely like this, it should get, go red at some point because there's no signal. So it's Gone. going red, which means that there's no link established. So imagine this is a wall of a room. Light doesn't go through this wall. So you create an inherent, highly secure communication link. Obviously, we need to make it smaller and miniaturize that unit to a very small piece of silicon of the size of a square centimeter. And then this little integrated circuit can be implemented into a dongle, which can be plugged into a, a laptop or a smartphone, and it's getting small, and eventually will be integrated into all, hopefully all smart, smartphones and computers.